If you're a heating air machine technician or even a salesperson, what's a word track that you can use to have a conversation with a buyer? And why is it important? This is a perfect conversation. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from the big island of Hawaii on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. And you may be thinking, Scott, why are you in South Point? Well, I said, hey, I thought to myself, had you would have been here, I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna bring the heat. And today's been hot, it's been windy. I got in the car, got the air conditioner running. You won't believe it, it's overcast today. There's clouds out there, but it's still hot, still hot. And so shout out to a dude named Mitchell Smith. Mitchell Smith has gotta be one of the best salespeople that I've ever met in my life. I will tell you, gotta give props and credits where credit's due. I have lifted this word track from uh, Mr. Mitchell Smith. So if you're like, hey, Scott, where did you hear this? I try to give uh, at attribution and credit where credit's due, because like had you would have been there and heard it from the other sales guy, you would have known it was him, right? So uh, somebody has to have the moral courage, okay? So this is the word track for you to modify. Somebody has to have the moral courage. So let me give you an example. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, is it okay if I am the only person to have the moral courage to share with you what needs to happen from here? That's one, one evolution of it. Number two, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, somebody has to have the moral courage to let you know the type of work that needs to be done and everything that needs to go into your service, your product, your install, your widget, your gizmo. Is that okay with you? So a lot of times whenever you take a word track or a snippet of a sales script, what you wanna do, what you wanna do is, if at all possible, turn it into a permission question. And you could do it as a forward question where you're asking for a yes, or you could get it as a reverse set, which Chris Voss teaches, which is a no. Would you be opposed for me to have a moral conversation, moral courage conversation with you? That would be how Chris Voss would, would have that conversation. Would it be a ridiculous idea to have a, a conversation that takes moral courage, okay? So like, I'm, I'm gonna give two people credit in this video. The other person's Chris Voss, okay? So would you like me to have the moral courage? Is it important for me to have the moral courage? Or are you against having me having the moral courage to let you know what it's gonna to take to do this job right, to do this install right, to have this product, this service, this widget, this gizmo delivered, installed, whatever way that you're gonna do it, right? So you gotta ask the question and turn it into the word track that's gonna benefit you. And this is why you should join my email list. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not on the YouTube channel, it's like right here. Find that URL, type it into a browser, drop in your name and your best email address. I'll give you the goods. Not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel, which means private coaching, private training, discounted coaching, discounted training. Come on, you know, I gotta pay for my bad habits. I gotta pay for my trips to Hawaii, my, oh, well, no Aloha shirt today, they're in the trunk. Um, my airplane tickets, my medium ribeye steaks, you know, all the goods. So somebody has to have the moral courage to put the word tracks up on the internet and on social media, why not me? Right, and so you may deviate from this and instead of taking it into a question, you can turn it into the explanation, right? I, like I just did. Somebody has to have the moral courage to, to share this with you. Somebody has to be willing to give first. Somebody has to be willing to, to explain to you what the situation is and what's going on. Hey, it might as well be me. I'm more than willing to do it. I'm more than willing to drop the knowledge that, that what you need and everything that's going on here. So somebody needs to have the moral courage. Your job today is to figure out how to have that conversation or ask that question in a way that gets you a yes or gets you a no and uh, put it into your sales presentation. Super importante that you do it right. Take some time, figure out where you're gonna put it and you will probably do very well. I got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three, find the subscribe button, click on it and every time I send out a video, I'll get an update. Two, if this is social media, hit follow. Or three, share this video with a friend, tag them in it. And if you're like, hey Scott, are you really at South Point on the Big Island? Okay, past those Jeeps and that Korea, the, the Kia. That is where everybody jumps. I got you some video. And like, this is the horizon. Sorry, I got an A-pillar right there in the way. And if you look at this, like, man, today is gonna be a fantastic sunset. It's about an hour and a half back to Kona. I gotta jump back on the road, you know? It takes, it literally takes an hour and a half to get here from Kona. I was like, man, do I really wanna watch do I really wanna watch the, the sunset from out here? And then I was like, I need to have the big boy conversation. I, I gotta have the moral courage to say, I probably shouldn't drive back to Kona at night because it's a curvy road and it could be dangerous. Yeah, let's just say what it is. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha and mahalo.